Hey family, I'm back. I have let um, the gentleman in the house. Um, so they're in there and they're getting busy. And I just wanted to come in and say, you know what? I, I had to get that off my chest. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that was a read. But, um, you know, I had to get that off of my chest. I truly had to get it off my chest. So I know God is still working on me. Um, I'm, 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 I'm not... Um, I guess I just got so much built up inside, you know, so much, I have a lot of animosity, let me be the first one to admit it, I'm going to admit mine, and I guess because my animosity is because there was never no closure, you know what I'm saying, there was never no closure, and I tried and I attempted to bring closure to it in 2013, and I attempted to reach out, I reached out to two women here on the YT, two of them, well known, okay, the one that you know I'm talking about now, but the other one you might not know. But that one right there, you know, you a little salty too. And I'm really trying to figure out because me and you used to talk on the phone and shit. We used to be real cool. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you became real salty with me. And I never done anything. I never done anything to you. I never disrespected you in one way, shape, or form. I never felt like I had. Um... Since we're getting it all out, let me get this out. I remember doing a video, and, um, you know, a lot of people, I guess you were telling me, because you, you did call me later, and you was like, well, a lot of people got mad because you monetized that video that you did for me, you know, when I was down, when I was ill, and a lot of people got mad at that. And I'm like, wow, well, wait a minute. Last I checked, when you did a video about me, when I was sick, yours is monetized too, but... I never thought that that would be, is that the problem? I'm really tripping because now that this is like two years down the line now, well, what was this? How did this happen in what, 2011, 2010? I don't remember. But I do know that was the last time you and I had spoken. And you were saying, well, my subscribers were mad because you did a video, you know, about me. You know, you did a video, you know, in, in which the video was good because it was really, you know, I, it was heartfelt for me because, you know, she was sick and, you know, and just as she did a video for me when I was ill and I just, you know, did the same thing. But when I did it and I monetized it, though hers is monetized too, um, apparently she got a little pissed off or salty about it and her subscribers did as well. And I was like, wow, for real? I was real, I'm still tripping to this day, mama. I'm really still tripping because I never wronged you. And I always held you high. I always, you know, looked at you like um, you were on here before me. So it's like, you know, I've always showed you hella homage. You know, I never backbited or, you know, disrespected or any of those type of things because I pride in that. I do pride and respect for people. So I, I know that I've never wronged you in any way like that. But for you to just all of a sudden just fall off from me, it was never me. It was you. I don't know what you, what made you mad. But something about me or my whatever, or my life or my things or whatever kind of made you a little salty. And you just fell off. You quit talking to my ass all the way around. And so, excuse me, you had did a video in 2013. And um, I had commented in the comments, and I had even put it in there, you know what, I am so sorry for anything. Because I had tried to call you one time before. I didn't get you. So, you know, and I tried to, you know, talk about it away from here. And so now I'm coming down because now I'm just putting it out there. Uh, hey, if I'm doing an overview, let's do an overview. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it all out. So then, therefore, when I come back and really do my videos on the regular, I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is my reason for doing it. Okay. So when I reached out to you last year, and I commented in your comments and stuff, and it was in reference to, you know, women coming together and real women really trying to, you know, trying to, especially at a certain age, you should not be beefing at a certain age. You really shouldn't. Because you should be able to say, okay, look, check this out. I got your number. We on the phone. Let's squash this shit and let's push forward. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of young ladies on this platform really look up to you and I. You know, and this other one here. The uh, reason why I call this other one here because really she is tripping. I mean, seriously tripping. Mama, I'm seriously looking at you real sideways right now. I really, really am because, you know, talking to you back in um, 2010 and talking to you, well, I haven't talked to you in years now, but the person that you were until now, the person that you are is very... 
hypocritical. Now, I do remember, let me also say this, because I did a video, you know, when I first started doing my sister Big Bones and shit, in every video, I had a little course that owned this and that and this and this and this. And I remember, you know, you had did a video, and you talked about it like it was the scum of the earth. I cannot believe a mother should be doing this. A mother shouldn't be wearing that. A mother shouldn't be this, this, this. Oh, my God, you ran me over a hot coal to your subscribers, to your little community, you ran me over hot coals, and it hurt my feelings, because I was like, wow, what is this about, I thought we was cool, you fell off from me, just like this other one, you know, fell off from me, I never done anything to neither one of you guys, honestly, and I say this as God is my witness, and as I'm coming in truth right now, and I'm coming in humility right now, I'm saying to you, if there was something that I did, Right now, wouldn't I come out and admit it by now? I would come out and say, you know what? I did fuck that bitch up. Yeah, I did kind of, you know, say this and that and this. But I never did. Nobody on this platform. I came in here. When I came on this motherfucker, I've been true and 100 from the start. But as I begin to, you know, show more of my life and more of different dynamics of my life and the things that I have and the things that I do and the things that I'm actually capable of, um, people did not like that. And I understand that misery loves company. I understand that also jealousy is real. But you know what? You never supposed to come and covenant another person's blessings. You ain't supposed to do that. And especially both of you guys kinda know the Bible. I won't say kinda, but you know you know what you know of the Bible. Let me say that. No shade, no read. You guys know both of you guys know what you know of the Bible. And nowhere in that Bible does it say you're supposed to covenant another person's blessings, um, be jealous, envy, um, lie, um, and do all those things. And I feel all of that from you two to me. And I have done nothing to neither one of you guys. Both of you guys, I've befriended you guys on this platform. I've been, I, I tried to be just as nice and all that kind of shit. And you guys turned on me. And now, you guys are supposed to be cool and booms. I'm really tripping because this one over here was talking about this one over here. And that one over there was talking about that one. But now you guys are cool. Hey, whatever floats your boat, it's okay with me. I'm here in California, baby. And I live a full motherfucking life, if you, as, as you can see. I'm cool, and the motherfuckers that's in my life is real cool if you ain't noticed. So, you know, hey, whatever you guys do is whatever, but I just wanted to clear the air with that and let everybody know, because I'm certain a lot of people are like, damn, what happened here? What happened here? What happened here? It was never me. So to my subscribers, <laughs> if I done it, I'm going to tell you, you know what? I fucked up. I said this. I done that. I fucked up. But I can't say that because I never did anything. But it lets me know that, you know, women do get mad over, over what another what another woman can do when, when you get... And see, and what's crazy is I can sit up here and I can watch hauls all day long. I can watch hauls, makeup hauls, tutorials, this and this and this, that, 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 this and this. But when I do some shit, oh, she's a hooker, she's a whore, she's a prostitute, she's an escort, she's a this, she's a that. She's this. She still has all her children. Her ex-husband still pays all her bills. She has a friend that buys her thousands of dollars of things. She has a man that still won't let her go. But still, she's a hoe. She's a slut. She's a bitch. She's a tramp. She's an escort. She's a this. Why? Why do I have to be all that? Why? Because I'm none of that. None of it. Allow my works and shit to speak for myself because I don't think I would have my children if I was any of those things. Because I know damn well, Tony's a white collar man and he's about his business. And if he felt in any way, shape, or form that his daughter, his only daughter, was in any type of um, twist or he, she's in a situation to whereas he felt uncomfortable with, he would make some changes. Okay, he would seriously have made some changes. And for things to be the way that they are, here, this man done quick did this whole house to my ass a couple of years ago. So, you know, he's, he's providing for his family. And for him to still provide for us, and, I'm, uh, and, and hell, me and him ain't even consummated. We ain't even on that level. That lets you know that my character must be pure and it must be clean. Has to be. So I just wanted to say that and end all that on that Okay, but y'all fucked me over.
And then I reached out to y'all niggas back in 2013 trying to be cool, trying to clean the slate, trying to clean all that shit over and all that other stuff. And you still never responded. You still never called me back. You still never done none of that shit. But you still come on this motherfucking platform fraudulent as a motherfucker. I won't say both of y'all fraudulent. One of them is a little iffy. A little two-faced, maybe. But I won't say fraudulent. But one of you, the other one, though, is, whoa, bitch, you's a cubic zirconian diamond neat motherfucker. Hell, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't even watch it. I can't watch it. I, I'm like, oh, my God, please don't send me no more videos. Don't send me no more videos about what this motherfucker is doing. Because it's looking real crazy. And especially from... The conversations that we've had, and I know what you've had, your what you didn't have, and all your struggles and all that other shit, as I thought I was your friend, and now, all of a sudden, now, nigga, you coming through like you making millions, sit your ass down right away. Sit your motherfucking ass down. Cut it out. Cut it out. Because, nigga, no. 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 And especially if you kind of trying to keep trying to come for me. And keep trying to be, okay, well, she do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this better than her. Or I'm going to try to come through, and I'm going to do what she's doing, but I'm going to do a little twist on it. Or I'm going to do what she's doing, and I'm going to show you the cheaper way of doing it. Or I'm going to do what she's doing, and I'm going to show you the godly way of doing it. Or I'm going to do what she's doing, but I'm just going to change the color. Bitch, stop it. Stop it. Because I see you. I see you. And I have a good judge of character, and I know what you're doing. I'm going to need you to stop it. Okay? I'm a grown-ass woman. I can do whatever I want to. And I don't need AdSense coins to make me look like something or to have something. Okay? We done, I done went over the AdSense coins in these last couple of videos. I done already put it. So y'all already know what category I'm in on AdSense coins. That goddamn car out there is 80000 Okay? Fully packaged. Fully fucking loaded. Okay? Please don't fuck with me. This goddamn kitchen in here, state-of-the-art motherfucking kitchen. Granite, top-of-the-line cabinets, solid. Don't fuck with me, mama, because you can't do what I do. Not right now. Not saying that you can never can. Because I, you know what? Still, baby, still, I'm still here for you, okay? But just keep on living. You're 10 years, what, probably about 10 years younger than me. Shouldn't I be somewhere in life? If I wouldn't, y'all motherfuckers be looking at me crazy like, okay, this motherfucker's over 40 motherfucking years old and ain't got shit to show for her life. This motherfucker, nigga, you still renting? Y'all be looking at me real crazy if I didn't have what I have at 42 years old. You should, because at a certain age, there's certain things that you really should have. But, mama, you're not there yet. I see where you're going, and I hope... Hope that God takes you wherever you're going. But everybody ain't going to the same place. Let me just say that. And when your heart is not right and your heart is not pure and you sitting up backbiting and being fraudulent and trying to ride on motherfuckers' coattails and I'm going to befriend you until I get where I'm going and then I'm going to get off and do my own shit, bitch, I see you. And when I say bitch, I say it loosely because I've talked to you on the phone away from this platform. And I know that you and I had a repertoire. I assumed we had. I didn't know that you were just befriended me to understand the kind of person that I was. And once you saw that this bitch is real and she really have what she say she have, that's when you turned on my motherfucking ass. Around the time when I went and I bought that refrigerator and that microwave in the drawer and that motherfucking washing machine and dryer out there sitting on pedestals, you didn't like that. It, it, it wasn't cool in your feng shui. And so then you begin to turn on me. And as I begin to do my sister Big Bone, you and your dude set up and y'all was kicking about me and laughing about me and all this shit about me. How can a mother, how can a mother, but now you sitting up here, come on now, mama, for real? Seriously? Let's keep this shit 100. Let's keep this shit all the way 100. If we're going to get it out, goddammit, let's get it out. But I want to leave 2013, 2012, 11, and 10 back there. But just know that I see you, okay? I see you. And I know a lot about you that they don't know. That everybody else, yeah, you keep talking about all my subscribers and all that old type of shit, bitch. That's nothing. That's nothing. That don't mean nothing. So, you, so you're so basing your worth off of, off of how many subscribers you got, for real? Then therefore, you ain't even doing it for the right goddamn reasons. You're doing this for numbers. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about no numbers. I'm going to say what the fuck I'm going to say. And either people can gravitate to it, learn something from it, and drop off what you don't need. That's it. 
But I don't give a fuck about no subscribers. And, and especially when it comes down to for paying for some bitch, I could pay for 100,000 of them motherfuckers. Please believe it. And when, did, did I say 100,000? That mean I could pay for 100,000. So if that mean they $1 a piece, I could pay for 100,000 of them motherfuckers right now. Okay? So don't get me fucked up. I'm a grown woman, and I can do whatever I want to. Okay? Now, all these little things that you're trying to do, don't compare your beginning to my middle. I done been there and done that. I done done all that kind of motherfucking shit. I'm going right now to go get some other shit done. I'm going to show you. Okay? Show you what the fuck I can do. But if I'm in a competition with you, baby, I'm not. Because you and I are on two different platforms. We come from two different places. We are in two different income brackets. And our hearts are not the same. Okay? So now, let me just, I want to be done with this. Please. Oh, my God. I really want to be so done with this. Because the more I try to get away from this, the more it keeps coming back in my face. And then people keep sending me messages, calling me, sending me PMs, and all this other shit. I don't give a fuck about what y'all doing out here. As long as you're going to be safe, as long as you're going to put out some shit that's good, and some shit that's true, and you're trying to be true to yourself and who you are as a woman, what is the problem? But when you're out here fraudulent, and you're out here on some bullshit... And then you want to act like, and then you want to fall behind the behind the book and all that. Don't do it, mama. It's looking real bad right now. Oh, my God, baby, you're looking bad. Oh, my God, you're looking so bad. I'm rather embarrassed. Because the very thing that you talked about me with, now here it is now you trying to do videos that I done done back two years ago. Now you're trying to do like you the ambassador of this motherfucking shit that's been going on for so a long time. Hell, I've been new to this shit back in 2012. I mean, excuse me, in 2001. I was wearing that shit in 2001, mama, when you were still trying to do whatever you was doing and trying to find your way. I was doing that shit back then. This ain't no new shit to me.